This is the back of a violin and you can see it's got a curved shape which gives it strength. And um, here it's very strong curve. You don't want it too strong but you don't want it too weak because it has to move to transfer the vibrations. This curve in the middle is very strong and um, it follows a special curve, what we call the catenary, which is the curve that a chain makes when it hangs, like that. And this, whether it's higher or lower, is the strongest curve you can have for, for such a structure. And it comes from the word catena, which is Latin for chain. As I say, in the middle of the violin here, which is what we have here, the curve is very strong. And um, I've identified the constructional line of this back with this dotted line, which basically bisects the outside and the inside of the wood. And that's your constructional line. And you can see if I hold this catenary here, it follows that perfectly. And so we'll have catenaries in various positions on this back, on the original that I'm copying, and by uh, describing them on the, my computer, I can see how far these catenaries go. You don't necessarily want it going all the way to the edge of the instrument. You might want it stopping about there and then curving into the edge to give it a bit of flexibility. So this Excel chart shows part of this middle section uh, of the uh, back of a violin. In fact, it's a, the Guarneri del Gesù model played by Augustin Haderlich. And um, you can see I've got half of it here. And I've described the constructional line, which is the line between the outside and the inside with that red mark there. And this blue line shows the catenary, which is this hanging shape here. And you can see how perfectly it follows the catenary. Tiny little gap there, but this is fractions of a millimeter. It shows that this curve in the middle is very strong. If I um, show one of the other arches, this one goes through about here on the instrument. And um, you can see the catenary comes up to about this point. And then it, we have a section which we call the recurve, where it goes lens to the edge. So this section here will be really strong, and it gets less strong as it, get, as it changes shape like that. And by analysing this constructional line, the line in red of classic instruments, I can see how far they use this really strong catenary.